volunteered to die six billion times in order to save humanity. He better than me, cause boy ain't no way. Will he think he a la carte or something like that? I'm not one of them, but let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. Hundred K holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good? Whoa, 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 whoa. We got, we got a, what is good, holla squad? We are the latest squad on YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back with another reaction. Let, let me see the name of this one, Punchline. That's what, look, Punchline is a crazy name for somebody who's about to die six billion times. All right, look, I got one death in me, all right? Once I die, I ain't coming back, all right? So, y'all better get as much out of me as y'all can, you know what I'm saying? Especially your mom. She gonna need all of this. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's get into this video. <laughs> the story begins with our main protagonist, called Yuta Iridatsu, who is a normal young man with a pretty boring life. However, one random day in December will change all of that. Yuta meets up with his neighbor Rabura Chichibu, and together they catch a ride on the city bus. As the bus drives, it is suddenly hijacked by a villainous criminal. People scream okay. and get scared, but just before the villain can hurt anybody, the hero called Strange Juice shows up. She has come to Strange save the day Juice. as she attacks the villain. The villain knocks out poor Rebura and then proceeds to prepare his shot at Strange Juice. But the villain notices something odd on Strange Juice's neck, a mysterious letter G. For a moment, this makes the villain hesitate. Meanwhile, he catches mean? a glimpse of Rebura's underwear which makes him power up and summon a powerful energy. Yo, <laughs> seeing a girl draws, alright? And getting superpowers is insane, alright? Now, I done seen some dudes in a the gym. They walk in there with them TikTok pants on and dudes start doing extra weight. So I done seen that happen. But to get superpowers is crazy. Yuta with this newfound power attacks the <laughs> villain and tackles him into the sea. Yuta then blacks out. Oh, After Megacent, a while he boy. wakes up on a beach no alone with Strange Juice. Yuta also sees her underwear <laughs> and then passes out once more losing his powers in the process. Suddenly a giant object is seen falling down from the sky and Yuta's soul leaves his body. Two days pass and Yuta awakens once more. But this time he isn't nah. on a beach but in his room instead. <laughs> he is back at the Korai House apartment complex. And it seems that he has been asleep for two days. Out of nowhere a spirit cat, called Cherinosuke, shows up. This cat explains that Yuta's body has been taken over by another spirit, and he must find a special book called Nendala Gendala to fully get back his body. Yuta immediately tries to find this strange book and he looks all around his apartment complex, but he has no luck. In the process he also learns that if he sees the underwear of a girl twice in a row, he will lose consciousness and a giant meteor will kill all of humanity. <laughs> Yo, that, nah, nah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, nah, bro. I can't not. Nah. That means your girl got to be commando, though, at all times. If you my, 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 my boo thing, and uh, I got this superpower, no panties for you, my baby. You know what I'm Yuta saying? is terrified, <laughs> but he finally gets some good news. He can actually travel through time and go back into the past. And in his spirit okay. form, he can fix his mistakes like if he sees a girl's underwear. His spirit form can also move and impact objects, but the revelations don't stop there. Mikaten Narugino, who is Yuta's neighbor, is also revealed to be the superhero Strange Juice. Rabura's mm. parents also have spirit powers, so she is disappointed and mad at herself for just being a normal human with no powers. However, her luck die. changes when she meets the apartment's <laughs> landlady, called Meika Dehatsu. She offers to teach Rabura chairmancy, which Rabura mishears as necromancy. This excites Rabura as this is her chance to be special like her parents. Meanwhile, Yuta is- Hold up, ain't ne necromancy like- like in like dead bodies or something like that ain't that that's necrophilia right necromant day no words too close is learning more about how his spirit powers work by total accident he learns that cinnamon dust actually makes his spirit powers stronger he goes mm. to see rebira and uses his spirit powers to break a bottle he tries but he is too weak without the cinnamon dust later we are introduced to ito hikiatani who is a young girl who spends most of her days playing video games and staying inside ito has somehow managed to find a small bear cub called Muhai. She found the bear cub in a small box and is now trying and failing to hide it from her neighbors. A conspiracy organization <laughs> called the Kume Group sends a special broadcast video, in which the provided evidence reveals that a giant asteroid will soon hit Earth. They actually have the exact date. The asteroid will hit on New Year's Eve. This group challenges the world's government to disprove this video or explain to the public why they are hiding the facts. That's Yuta crazy. Sees this video and if y'all never seen Don't Look Up on Netflix, gotta watch that, bro. True story, all right? True story. That's all I'm gonna say. Government, please leave me alone. 
Go, go do something in Netflix. ...starts to suspect that maybe the group's leader who died recently might be the spirit that is in his body. The group's leader is Kumei Tsubauchi, and Yuta mm -hmm. has to find more clues to figure out if his theory is correct. Miketon starts planning a Christmas party in Ido's room. As a way to keep her secret identity as strange juice concealed, she uses Meika's special technology that camouflages like someone's appearance. Later in the night, an attacker arrives at the apartment complex. The intruder has been sent by the Kume organization and his name is Turtle Man. He tries to attack and kidnap Muhai. In the attack he even injures Muhai. <laughs> at the last second a new hero shows up called Kenji Miyazawa. He is another costumed superhero and he saves Muhai while showing off his powers. His powers are almost identical to Yuta's, but as a bonus mm. he also has a healing ability meaning he can regenerate any wound. Rabura and Ido find okay. out Mikaten's secret. They freak out when they realize she is Strange Juice. Also it is revealed that the apartment's landlady Meika is actually a robot. Past events show a strange boy called Pine asking a girl named Giriko to run away. Both of the kids are in a strange laboratory, and Pine wants them to break free. While that is happening a small girl called Chiyoko is singing. We return back to the present time and see that Rabura is getting ready for a special date with someone called Gliza. Meanwhile Yuta continues his investigations into the Kume group. He finds that a girl was included on a list of names that the Kume group posted, and that same girl was later found dead. Ido is shocked to find that his name too is also on the list. Yuta decides that he needs to act, so he uses cinnamon powder and tries to amplify his spirit powers just enough to possess Rabura's body. He uses all his strength but he eventually fails to warn anyone of the dangers the Kume group presents. His powers lose their strength and he leaves Rabura's body. Gliza and Rabura go on their so date but it is revealed all? that Gliza has other motives. He is part of the NSA and his mission is to find and contact Meika. As she is a powerful robot she might be able to hack into the Kume group's data and stop their virus mm. from destroying an important satellite. This satellite's main purpose is to act as a defense against any possible meteors and the Kume group wants to destroy it. Their conversation is interrupted Why when Kenji wanna, shows up. Elsewhere, you Why would they want to destroy something that's supposed to protect the earth from a meteor? That don't make no sense. Yuta realizes that Miketon sings the same song that the girl Chiyoko sang so long ago. December 29th arrives and Yuta is horrified to find Ido killed near a shrine. Yuta decides to save her, so he uses his time travel powers and goes back in time to the day before. He uses all his powers and possesses Rabura once again, and manages to warn Ido and the other girls about what will happen. Okay. Mikaten stops Ido from going to that temple to see the shrine. So somebody Ido else feels guilty about something and she decides to open up to the rest of the girls. Ido tells them that she was the one who posted a video of all the people who bullied her at school. She wanted to make a video to prank all of those people, but someone managed to edit the video and put her name on it. While talking, Mikaten... So she tried to be Hannah Baker, alright? You know, I said, look, you, 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 you set off the 13 reasons why, okay? You've been exposed. Reveals right. that she spent her childhood <laughs> in a place called Uber Labs. This triggers a flashback for Yuta in which he sees that the small boy Pine used a special ability called Uberfy to protect Chiyoko. The next day arrives and the turtle man manages to kidnap Muhai. He explains that this is her punishment for not showing up at the temple. Yuta manages to use his powers to send a message from Ido's phone. This message tricks the Turtle Man to show up on a rooftop, and there Rabura and Meika have set a trap for him. Turtle okay. Man is much stronger than Yuta and his group of friends predicted. He figures out their plan and instead of falling into their trap he just shoots Meika in cold blood. Mikaten and Kenji hurry to go and help it their friends dirty. but when they arrive the Turtle Man is waiting for them at full power. He reveals that he too has the power to Uberfi and he attacks them. Their battle is fierce as they are almost evenly matched. During their battle so. Kenji somehow manages <laughs> to see Yuta and his spirit and decides to create an opening for Yuta to possess Rabura. Yuta and Kenji's plan succeeds. With Yuta now in Rabura's body he manages to defeat the Turtle Man and save Meika who survived the gunshot. The attacker Shout that was called suplexes. the Turtle Man is revealed to be Ido's teacher, <laughs> called Chihaya Tomoda. He is a sick individual who was obsessed and in love with Ido. Because of his psychotic Chihaya Tomoda. He is a sick individual who was obsessed and in love with Ido. How old is Ido? Because if that was a student, big fella, you know what I'm saying? They just gave R. Kelly 30. You know what I'm saying? They just they done dropped Curry numbers. Well, I, listen, we're going to move Steph Curry name away from Robert, okay? But <laughs> you going in there right there with a boy. <laughs> because of his psychotic You're obsession, done. he allowed himself to be possessed by Kumei Tsubauchi's spirit. She's 16. Oh, yeah. Get him out of here. Pack him up. All right? Pack him up. This way he could take revenge against all those students who harassed and bullied Ido in school. The following day all the girls organize their New Year's party. During the party Meika talks to Yuta and reveals to him that he is biologically a female. 
She also talks to Ito and tells her the story of how she met Miketon. Okay. Kenji has to help Miketon control her powers so he gives a special medication that lessens the painful side effects of her powers. Suddenly a giant meteorite shows up in the sky and begins its approach to destroy Earth. Kenji then reveals oh, that he is Yuta from the future charge? and he oh, gives Yuta done. from the past the Nandala <laughs> Gandala book. Yuta is shocked to find that the book is totally empty, except one written word saying you turn. turn. Kenji tells Yuta that, that the only back? way he can get back to his body and stop humanity along with Earth from being destroyed is if he goes back in time to that day at the bus, where the whole thing started. Yuta listens to Kenji's instructions and using the book transports himself back to his own body to that day December 21st. Okay. He arrives back into his body just after the bus attack happened. Yuta then gets to work researching all the important <laughs> dates that are coming and tries to inform Chera Nasuke that he must try to change the future. Yuta has now realized that this is not the first time he has done this. Chera Nasuke mm. reveals that the previous versions of Yuta all tried to prevent the meteor from striking but have failed. He also tells him that it is extremely important to not tell the truth to anyone. Yuta's nosebleeds are also the result of mankind being destroyed in all those other timelines. Yuta places special talismans as a way to keep his spirit doubles from reaching his body. He then decides to not write the U-turn spell into the Nandala Gandala book. Yuta concludes that this would be a form of surrender. When the morning arrives, Yuta talks to Rebira trying to find out- Yo, Rebira! Hey! Hey, I'm on bended knee right now! Alright? You know what I said? Will you marry me? More information about Gliza. Suddenly, Tomoda shows up and Yuta chases after him, but Cherenosuke stops him for fit, some reason. Okay? Cherenosuke explains that Yuta should not stop events that cause the <laughs> residents of the apartment complex to form friendships and bonds together. Cherenosuke also reveals that the reason Yuta's spirit can so easily leave his body is because of a traumatic event he experienced nine years ago. Mm. This moment took place in that laboratory with the children. Pine, Yuriko, and Chiyoko accidentally all switched bodies with each other while they were trying to escape escape their captor. This happened because lightning hit their Uber field states. This means that Yuta is the result of Pine's spirit ending up in Chiyoko's body. The following ah, day, Yuta receives a mysterious sense. package from his foster sister Akina. This package contains the Kenji Miyazawa costume. December 24th arrives, the first time Tomoda attacked and kidnapped Muhai. Yuta decides to use the Kenji suit and makes Tomoda chase after him. Yuta using his powers manages to attack the Tsubouch's soul that is possessing Tomoda. Yuta mm. wants to get valuable information so he asks the soul about the Kyume group and their Bro, plans. It is revealed that the group created Muhai and Yuba and their powers. Kyume's spirit escapes which leaves Tomoda in critical condition. Meika and Yuta talk and it seems as if Meika knows about Kenji from her grandfather. Her grandfather told her stories about a superhero team called the Justice Punch that existed in the far Justice future. Punch. He knew all this because he <laughs> said a fax from the future told him. Afterwards, Yuta meets with Rabira's cousin Rando. He was the one who gave Muhai to Ito. Rando was once part of the Kume group but he decided to betray them as a way to stop their evil plans. Mm -hmm. Mikaten and Yuta talk about everything that has happened and she is grateful for everything he did. Suddenly Mikaten collapses in front of Yuta. Yuta tries to get the proper medication to help Mikaten. After he finally stabilizes her, Yuta finds the courage and reveals his true identity is Pine. It is revealed that Mikaten is actually the soul of Chiyoko inside of Giriko's body. Mikaten tries to explain that when she suddenly switched bodies so many years ago she tried finding the man who helped so many people escape the Uber Laps. Mm. This man was called Ishigyata, but unfortunately he was later killed like trying to help. Facts. The following day Yuta <laughs> goes to speak to several scientists, trying to figure out how to stop the upcoming meteor. The scientists all confirm that Gleishi's plan of nuclear I'm just trying rockets to figure out being when able to stop so many the meteor times, are false. Because of this Yuta starts to suspect that Gliza might be lying and has other more villainous motives. Yuta then goes to speak with Meika about Mikaten. It seems that in just a couple of days Mikaten's condition has gotten worse. Yuta begs Meika to do more tests to see if there is anything they can do to help Mikaten. December 27th arrives and Cherenosuke comes to talk to Yuta. He advises Yuta not to change any event in this day that will lead to his group of friend to fight and then later make up. Yuta ignores this advice and directly goes to confront Gliza. It is mm. then revealed that Gliza doesn't work for the NSA but now is actually part of twice. the Kume group. He is one of the leaders of the villainous group and his plan was to trick Meika into hacking the satellite which would actually change the meteor's finger, trajectory boy. and push it towards <laughs> our planet. Gliza then uses a strong anesthetic to attack Yuta. He then reveals that he also oh, has mates. Uber fly powers. In a shocking twist Gliza is actually Giriko who is now inhabiting Pine's body. The morning of December 28th, Yuta realizes that he cannot stop Meika from hacking the satellite. Giriko's plan will come true. This will basically give the Kume full control of the satellites and the ability to launch missiles at the meteor to make it change trajectory and hit directly at Earth. Cherenosuke announces that the mission to save here to make it change trajectory and hit directly at Earth. 
Why would they make it hit Earth, though? That don't make no sense. They, they live there, too. Cherenosuke announces that the mission to save humanity has failed and that Yuta should make preparations to train... Ha <laughs> ha! We, we know broken fingers anime, you know what I'm saying? You break their fingers, put it back together, break their fingers. It's, I only heard about this, all right? I never watched the anime, though. ...transport himself into his other body. <laughs> December 29th arrives, and that is the day in which originally Ito died. Yuta and Mikaten receive a text message commanding them to appear at the shrine. The two of them show up and there they are met by Giriko. He takes Ito hostage as a way to make them all come to his location. However, Giriko gives Ito back and says that the only way Mikaten and Yuta can survive this upcoming meteor strike is to use Muhai's regeneration Redo? ability. Never Yuta heard feels of. that there is no hope in the whole situation <laughs> as all of his plans have failed, but he then remembers his friends and their bonds. This motivates Yuta to not give up just yet and try to save humanity. He asks Meika for her help as he has a new plan going forward. Yuta explains everything to Meika. He tells her about the meteor and its trajectory along with all his experiences regarding time travel. Meika then begins forming a plan to launch all the ballistic missiles from Earth directly at the meteor when it arrives close to the atmosphere. This should be enough to destroy the meteor at least so it doesn't cause any giant destruction. Mm. She then gives Yuta the task of protecting the Korai house from anyone who tries to stop her in her plan or attack his friends. New Year's Eve arrives once more and Meika is torn to whether she should allow all their friends to get involved with the plan. You the should. danger is too great, especially for Mika. If, you if she uses her Uber fly powers one more time she will most definitely die. However, the others overhear everything and decide they will help no matter what. Together, all the friends form a group called the Justice Punch. The final battle okay. begins. Yuta and Mikaten are the ones protecting the Korai house from all the armored forces that have been taken over by Kyume Group. Yuriko also arrives with his team of elite warriors and the American army. The leader of the American army is now possessed by Tsubauchi. Ito piloting a mech robot fights the army, and Yuta once again possesses Rebura to help in the fight. Meanwhile, the normal Yuta and Miketen also join the battle against the armies. Time is almost up. There is only 30 minutes until the world ends. Yuriko manages to get inside That's the crazy. Korai house and with his attacks he damages Meika. With this up. he stops her hacking. Yuta shows up and fights Yuriko while Rabura tries to stop Tsubauchi. She tries to exercise his soul to leave the army leader. Meika and Ito manage to finish the hacking process and they launch all the missiles. The missiles hit and destroy the meteor. Miketen decides to use her powers one last time to stop Yuriko and Yuta from fighting. As she slowly dies from using her powers, Yuta decides to switch bodies with her. This returns Mikaten to her original Chiyoko body, and He's Yuta dies ultra. inside her body. After 49 days pass, the spirit of Yuta says farewell to all his friends and goes back in time one last time to bring a brighter future for everyone. And this brings the anime to an end. Alright, I feel like I was lied to. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Okay. Until next he volunteers to die six billion times in order to save humanity. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I was a little, maybe I got to watch the anime to understand because something in this, this breakdown didn't equal dying six billion times, okay? That's first of all. Second of all, we only see him get his draws, superpowers, one time, all right? Anybody who's watched this, y'all let me know if he got that superpower more than once, all right? Because I feel like that was vital to the story, all right? You look at draws, you get superpowers. You look at draws again, you, you, you lose your superpowers. I feel like that is like a concrete, you know what I'm saying, staple in this story arc. I feel like it was only elaborated on one time. Maybe I just need to go watch it. You know, what I'm saying? well, let, let me stop before I, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> the teacher, you know what I'm saying? get that man out of here. You know what I'm saying? But listen, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. We might watch this though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Sundays, Anime watch parties in the Discord, all right? You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all pull up the Discord link down below in the, you know what I'm saying? If you're in the live streams, exclamation point, Discord, type beat. But uh, I'm going to see y'all a little bit later. Peace. Who said we ain't about it? Test the gang and you'll get touched. You'll get she touched. ride it, Kawasaki, roll my blunts and keep it quiet. Shh. Money is the motor, so we keep it on our mind. On our mind. You get put in the stretch it, yellow tape, so please don't try.